something down there. I see dead people. I'll be back. I was way off. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah! They don't make the movie. The movie ends, and I remember going, either that's the most brilliant movie ever, or we're so freaking effed. <laughs> but they can make or break it. The trailer was great. When they saw it, they realized that the movie was going to be great. From DG Entertainment and Clio Entertainment. I'll tell you the dark but funny truth about the whole thing. Trailer geeks and teaser gods. Oh, this is amazing. I can't believe people get paid to do this. The fate of the movies is in their hands. One last thing I could tell you for for like working in this business. Sometimes you go out on a little bit of a limb and I was working on the Minions first movie for Maria Pecker of Sky. We we're doing TV spots for her. And again, I don't work with her that often. I work with her once in a while. So every time I work with her, I consider it a great opportunity and also a little terrifying because I don't want to <laughs> mess it up, right? So we're working on Minions and we we're going to send her, she probably asked for four spots. We decided we're going to send her like six, seven or eight. I don't remember. Probably, I think it was about eight to be honest. I got carried away. Yeah. And I, you know, I was like, we got to cut more spots. We got to win this thing. So we had this song and the lyric was, it's a band called Grand Theft Keys. And the lyric was, woke up half dressed and still buzzing. And I had the, minion, <laughs> the minions walking in a G string towards a hot tub <laughs> with, you know, with a, a fire extinguisher. So it looks like three people in a hot tub or whatever. And I'm thinking, she's going to think I'm nuts. <laughs> so we sent that. Yeah. Then that spot ended up became a central part of the campaign. And then the other spot we sent her, we had this editor named Rich Valois. And he, he had this idea to do Fifty Shades of Yellow. Because there's a torture scene and this, uh, and also the G-string scene. So we, yeah. cut, we cut a spot, yeah. Fifty Shades of Yellow, which finished for Australia. But when I sent it to Maria, you know, I had it on a wire drive. We sent, you know, whatever it was, whatever, I think it was wire drive. We sent her a link with the spots. I put it at the very end. I kept thinking, God, I kind of hope she doesn't watch that. Because what if she watches it and thinks, what the hell is this black? Yeah. Like, you can't do Fifty Shades of Yellow with minions, <laughs> right? Anyway, she finished both of them and, and a bunch wow. of other stuff we did. And for me, that was a, that campaign was fantastic because... It was where I kind of just said, the hell with it. You know, again, the I was the, the Fifty Shades of Yellow, Rich Valois deserves the credit on that. The other one, we had an editor named Karen Taylor on. She was fantastic. But we won. We basically won a lot of the campaign by taking a little bit of a risk with, yeah. you know, using music you would not normally use. Right, right. Um, and I'm not sure she even knew that lyric was there at the time because it was kind of muffled and in you know, a way it's sung that woke up half dressed and still buzzing or, uh, you know, whatever that lyric was. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corey Nathan, host of Trailer Geeks and Teaser Gods. To hear the entire TG Squared podcast, click the link in the description.